Hey yo, Matt, it's Wednesday, a day in May. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough week for me because I um, forgot how my vlog and I've been pretty much all week just editing and finalising this video and we had an essay to do um, on Monday which is fantastic. I don't think the teacher realises how long it takes to edit a video, I mean seriously. Um, like I've got to be solid editing tomorrow uh, just to get it done and Friday I need to do evaluation which is about a 1,000 to 2,000 word um, mini essay and um, print off more pre-production documents and handed it in all before 4 o'clock. Luckily, I want, I also have a vlog to do tomorrow. Luckily, I'm off on Saturday. I don't have work, so yeah, Saturday and Sunday is going to be basically my relaxation days. I, I really need them because um, pretty much every day since um, every day since about the Sunday before last, yeah, Sunday before last, I've been working um, at least a bit on college work. So I got to um, even weekends that is. Um, and Saturday when I worked, a waitress last week, so I, I got to have a little break. Um, probably the most work I've done solid for ages. But yeah, I've got to edit quick. And um, yeah, it's going okay. At least in one day I edited the whole video portion of the um, now seven and a half minute video. Um, I've just got to do the audio um, part, which is going to be really tough because I don't need to bother with in these vlogs because I just use the audio from the camera, but we record audio separately because it sounds a lot better. And I also need to add music and photo sound effects, um, which should probably take it to all day tomorrow and on Friday I need to work double time. So, yeah. But a little conversation starter for you. I, um, obviously I need to edit, but there's only 30 computers in all of college, uh, maybe even 20, that have um, Premiere Pro on them, uh, which is the editing software that they uh, we use at college. Um, so I couldn't use it because there's about 40 of us in media and um, 30 in um, about 50, 40 of us, yeah, 20, um, about yeah, 20 in year one, maybe 25 in year one. Um, so yeah, we're just all clamouring for the computers and there's only so many, so I need to edit on my laptop at college today. And yes, that meant I needed to edit on Power Director and the Movie Maker. Um, and a teacher scolded me for that, but what was I meant to do? And you can tell by my videos, Power Director isn't that bad, and in my opinion, Movie Maker is overhated. So Matt, I have a question for you. Um, do you think Movie Maker is overhated? I personally think it is really overhated. Um, yes, it doesn't have the best um, timeline features or really precise editing features, and you can't really do many effects or fades or whatever. Um, control audio levels and that. It was really random effects, but yeah. Um, but it is so simple to cut video. Just three key shortcuts: um, M I um, O, um, split, start, end clip. Um, and the titles are also really easy to add. They're so much easier than Premiere Pro to add titles in Movie Maker. Um, yeah, the teacher scolded me for using them, but I had no other choice. Um, so easy to cut, and it's on my laptop. I'm using PowerDirector to edit the audio, so yeah, this is going to be a real, like, homemade edited video, uh, which is kind of, yeah, it's kind of like me. So I kind of forgot it was my vlog tonight. Um, yeah, it's half ten right now, or now nah, twenty five past, and I'm yeah I kind of forgot um, because I thought it was yours again because I did it last week. But I remember you have exams or something, coursework deadlines to meet, which I can accept. I mean I do as well, but at least I have a bit of time free, and yeah that's what I'm doing right now. I am filming the vlog in your place. Um, you're probably going to do next week, and I've got to do tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, Hope you appreciate me doing the vlog today, um, and you need to repay the favour when I'm in Spain later on in the year. Right, Matt, I have actually got a little surprise. Um, yeah, just wait one minute. Right, so as you know, my um, light, the backlight, um, basically stopped working ages ago. 
Um, but yeah, I um, found in my drawer the other day um, LED lights. Now, these unfortunately are tungsten or whatever, so they, um, well, these are more energy efficient, but the thing is, is these produce a yellow light, which, you know, is good for a face, a yellowy white. These ones basically produce all white. So, this doesn't look very good. Um, uh, maybe that might look good? No, nah, it doesn't think that would good. But, what I'm planning on doing with this light is buying some kind of um, yellow uh, transparent paper, uh, or transparent yellow stuff, um, or transparent um, yellowy white stuff, um, to cover over it. Um, so that will produce kind of like a yellow light, which may, just may, make the lighting of the vlogs good again. Uh, but yeah, at least I found these lights. I mean, they're, they're powerful LEDs, man. I think these are even more powerful than the other ones. Um, yeah, but they don't produce the right colour. Um, they'd be good in like kind of a heaven, but that's about it. So yeah, uh, when doing that essay um, that I mentioned for Monday in media, I was listening to the Force Awakens soundtrack um, for like the first time in its entirety. Um, well, I mean, I'd heard, obviously I've seen the movie several times, but I'd heard the soundtrack for every other Star Wars movie pretty much at least ten times each. Uh, but the Force Awakens, I hadn't listened to the soundtrack in its entirety until I did the essay, or wrote the essay around Sunday. And like, I've really got to admit, the soundtrack is so overhated. I know I've used that word twice, but seriously, why do people have a problem with it? Like, I think they're just too unwilling to know there is another good style soundtrack. Um, that makes it, um, wait, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now seven. Uh, seven amazing style soundtracks. This one, I'd probably say is up there. Like, I know all of them are great, but I'd probably say, um, episode two is the weakest film, and the weakest soundtrack, but is still saying it's a really strong soundtrack. Then probably Phantom Bed, it says Jewel of the Fates, but other than that, nothing much else. Then, I'd say a tie between Revenge of the Sith and Empire Strikes Back, then the original, then Return of the Jedi, oh no, yeah, I'm forgetting Force Awakens. In between, then, tie between Revenge of the Sith and Empire Strikes Back, then Force Awakens. Um, it's just that good. Um, and yeah, all of them are strong, but yeah, here in the soundtrack, it's just still amazing. And it's been um, about four weeks since I last saw the movie, and I'm thinking, I might watch it again for an eighth time, or how many times is that now? Seven? Six? Sixth time. Might as well watch it for a sixth time soon, because the soundtrack's just that good, I'll be able to watch it, know where the soundtrack kicks in, and like with all those other six movies, I know exactly what moments correlate with the soundtrack. Um, so yeah, I just want to put that out there. Star Wars soundtrack, every movie is amazing. But, uh, speaking of soundtracks, there's this piece of uh, movie music that's been going from my mind of late. I don't know what movie it's from. Uh, it's one of the famous ones, but I don't know what movie it's from. It basically, I'll just hum it out. <laughs> It goes like that. Sorry for my awful humming, but it goes like that. It's been causing through our brain the entire time, just that loop, but I don't know what movie it's from. Um, if any of you know, um, please comment below. I'll remind you of it again. Um, so yeah, just remind... Please someone say where that's from. It may just be a figment of my imagination, but if any of you know, uh, please put it down there because I'd want to know. It's one of the more famous soundtracks but I can't think of what. It's not um, Jurassic Park. It's not um, Superman. Um, uh, no, nah, it's not Jurassic Park. That goes and it's not Superman because it goes um, so yeah, it's not um, either of those two. Um, so if any of you know what, um, if any of you know what that soundtrack is, please comment below. Though if you want a good soundtrack that isn't um, classical music or 
um, original music, I'd say go with another George Lucas film, American Graffiti. Um, the music in that soundtrack is uh, my is 50s American, which you know is some of my favourite music, so obviously I'd love it. Um, and probably the best mix between orchestral original and... Um, um, What's the other, what's the opposite original? Um, Pre-recorded songs is Back to the Future, so those are my opinions on movie soundtracks. So yeah, that um, replacement vlog, I enter my own voice a little bit more energetic because in the last few vlogs I feel that's been lacking. Um, so yeah, um, before I forget, because this has just literally just happened, um, bad luck Liverpool, bear low next time, I don't really support you, but Sevilla are just too good a team in the Europa League. Um, what was that, five wins and three wins in the last three competitions? Uh, the last three consecutive wins, like, that is insane. Um, I mean, Sevilla, like, you're amazing at finishing, what is it, fourth or fifth or sixth in the Spanish League, in the Liga, where the um, Europa League places are. You're amazing at finishing there. Please finish a bit higher, because the Europa League is the crappy competition. The Champions League is the better one. <laughs> uh, just saying, but um, it's going to be the same final Champions League as 2014. So, yeah, this is going to be the second time in three years, for certain, not even the um, winner of the Champions League has been confirmed yet, but um, it's going to be the second time in two years that the Super League final so has been between two Spanish teams. Wait. Nope, Barcelona won last year, so all three Super Leagues in the last few years have been between Spanish teams. <laughs> I just thought of that, yeah, it was Real Madrid um, versus Sevilla, 2014. 2015 is Barcelona against Sevilla, 2016 it's um, Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid against Sevilla. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty interesting, but either way, yeah, Matt, I'll see you tomorrow.